Smokies and Braves, game three of a five-game series at Smokies Park on Friday night. Tennessee fell behind early in this one as Mississippi Cedric Hunter hit a solo home run in the first of Tennessee starter Matt Luson. The Smokies, though, answered right back. As here in the bottom of the first inning, Charlie Cutler would drive in a run with a single to left. Jay Hoon Ha scored on the Cutler base knock, and the Smokies tied it up at 1-1. Lucin, meanwhile, would come back with a shutdown second inning. He would strike out the side in the second and had five strikeouts in the game. Brave starter J.R. Graham kept the Smokey scoreless in the bottom of the second, and in the third, he helped his own cause with a double and then scored on this two-out single by Hunter. Hunter was three for four in the game with a home run and two batted in for Mississippi. Braves up now 2-1 to one going into the last of the third, but the Smokies would answer again. This time, it was Chris Bryant with an RBI single that scored Haw after the Smokies center fielder led off the inning with a double. Haw scored twice in the game and was 2-5. for five. Bryant's RBI single in the third was his only hit of the game. He was 1-3. for three. The Bryant RBI locked the game up at 2-2, and it would stay that way until the Smokies broke things open with four runs in the sixth inning. Tennessee had just two hits in the inning, and one of them was this single from Dustin Geiger. From the stretch delivered. Swing, ground ball, base hit left field. Bailey's going to wave Bryant around. Here's the throw from Hunter to the plate. It's going to be close. Head first slide. He's safe. The RBI base knock followed two straight walks issued by Braves reliever John Cornelly, who took over for Graham in the sixth inning. The two walks were just the start of the mistakes in the inning for the Braves. They also committed three errors in the frame. Swing, bounce to the right side, ranging for it, Reyes. Slides down, it's off his glove. In the shallow right field, Geiger scores. Here comes Silva home. He's going to score without a throw. It's a two-run single for Valdez. And the four-run inning put the Smokies up 6-2 to two after six, but the Smokies would add to that with this opposite field blast from Geiger. Here's the one, two. Geiger swings and drives one high in the air, deep the other way. That's out the right. Klein connect back at the warning track. Looks up. It's gone. Geiger was two for four with two runs and three batted in for the Smokies. His home run was his ninth of the season. He's also batting 333 with two home runs over his last five games. Smokies up 8-2 after 7, and from there, the bullpen took over. Lendy Castillo turned in one of his best performances of the year. Here he gets a strikeout of Michael Jones in the 8th. Castillo pitched two scoreless innings and struck out two. In the ninth, Armando Rivero would come out to finish the ball game, and he would allow two hits in the inning, but struck out two over the scoreless frame. The Smokies take game three of the series. Eight to two was the final. Reliever Jeff Lorick, who pitched a scoreless sixth inning, got the win. He's now one and two. Cornerly took the loss. He falls to four and two. The loss officially eliminated Mississippi from the first half championship.